Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Gwent cuz since uh, yesterday, I think, yeah, yesterday, we got a new update for the game introducing the winter holiday event. So happy holidays, everyone. And uh, yeah, Gwent, the Gwent team has outdone itself again because there's a whole new way of getting extra rewards. And uh, in this video, I'm going to explain everything that's going on and how you can earn those very special rewards. So as a start, the main uh, event is going to run from, well, yesterday until the 5th of January. So it's going to be three weeks of full on rewards getting around three weeks. Um, to get those rewards, you can actually access the reward book in the bottom right. But before we go into that, I need to explain something. because. Um, while you're playing right now during this event, you will be getting Meteorite Powder on top of every other reward that you standardly get. So you get Meteorite Powder when you log in. I think that's about 400 Meteorite Powder you're getting. And when you win matches, you also get 200. And for uh, completing the daily quests over here. So if you complete those, you also get extra Meteorite Powder. So that's a lot of Meteorite Powder you can start earning, but the cool thing about this is there's no secondary um, unit that you need to collect, resource currency that you need to collect to gain rewards in this event. It's just your good old standard meteorite powder. And with that you can actually choose whatever you want. Because if we take a look at the new reward book, which is gorgeous by the way, um, you can actually earn the uh, rewards from last year's winter event. So that's the bottom row basically. Um, and if you earned any of those rewards last year, they will already be unlocked. So most of what you see right here is what's already unlocked for me because I earned those rewards last year. But any of the rewards you didn't get last year, you can actually just buy with Meteorite Powder. Like for example, any of the, the powerful card backs, well not powerful, but the beautiful card backs, uh, both the Blizzard card back and the just normal Winter card back you can get for 1200 Meteorite Powder and you should get there rather quickly. And then they added a few new ones like for example this beautiful coin, the Rare Rock coin, so the Ragnarok but then with the uh, the red cardinal from CD Projekt Red as the icon on the coin there. It looks beautiful, especially the red side. It stays rather blue but it's like the center glows a very bright red when you use it. But other than that, they've also added new avatars, well, kind of specialized versions of the basic avatars for each faction, new titles and new borders, which are also just adorned versions of the specialized borders, so the ones you're getting when you reach, I think it's about 500 wins or is it 1000 wins for each faction. Um, it's those specifically, but then adorned with uh, Christmas. Uh, well, a little bit, little bit of snow, a little bit of Tissel. So that's all very nice. And we get, of course, specialized Goodman avatars for Skellige, a specialized uh, Dana uh, avatar for Squirtel. We get a special Frozen Eridan avatar uh, for Monsters. Then a, a little red r bloody Riding Hood avatar for uh, Ada. Um, and then we get Gudrun is, yeah, feeling a little bit frosty in her avatar and then the final one for Nilfgaard we get the snow doll avatar which you can also get as a leader skin by the way but for that one you'll have to uh, cash out with some real cash because uh, you need to buy that in the shop but other than that a really cool way to just give you the full option of buying whatever you want and with the extra meteorite powder you're getting you should be able to fill this out in those three weeks with ease because, uh, yeah, you, as I said, you get 400 on a daily login. Um, so that's 400 times uh, 21. So that's already giving you a nice chunk of uh, meteorite powder. And then, of course, the 200 per win, which can stack up really nicely as well. But, of course, when you're finished with this tree or you don't see anything that interests you anymore, meteorite powder can still be used to create premium cards. So even if you don't if you're not interested in any of these cosmetic rewards you can still expand your premium uh, collection in the um, the deck builder as much as you want with the meteorite powder you're getting and then of course they've added a few things you can buy with real money as well i'll just quickly go over them uh, there's nothing too spectacular but the shoop skin has returned to the shop but combined with festive antlers this time instead of the halloween pumpkin which i felt was a little bit more fitting than just those simple antlers but nine bucks for that you can also buy the festive antlers separately if you already have the shoop skin for about two bucks 
uh, Shoopskin separately for eight. And then the Frozen bundle is, of course, the Ardal's Grandfather Frost Skin, as we just saw the... Uh, the avatar for uh, Snowy Ardal as well. And we get a few nice borders and a Snow Maiden avatar for the total price of nine bucks. Again, I feel like cosmetics are usually a bit overpriced in Gwent, but this seems like just good enough. Um, we also get the Midwinter bundle back from the previous years where you can get the Santa Cracks leader skin. And it's just, yeah, I mean, look at it. It's, 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 Beautiful. It's it's really funny if you play with uh, Santa Croc on crate. But uh, that's basically it. Uh, they also brought back the winter board. But if you've played the um, previous event, you might already got this. But if you want this, you can just buy it for 1,200 meteorite powder. So that's the only thing that have been has been reintroduced that you can just buy with meteorite powder. And that's it for this very short video on the winter holiday event in Grand. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Please uh, let me know what you think of the event because I feel like they've really upped their game here, giving you the option of spending your resources wherever you want as they uh, usually did. But for the events, was, uh, it was usually just randomized, which caused some people to be frustrated when they got nothing at all. But uh, this time, you definitely have a good chance of getting everything in one go. Um, let me know what you think, if you like it or not. And hope you guys have a lot of fun with this winter event and buying and just earning all those cosmetic rewards and the premium cards that you want. So happy holidays and see you next time on Grand Edge. Goodbye.